I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com. Today we have the 2013 Toyota Tundra. And while there is a new generation Tundra coming, there's still plenty of value to be had. We'll show you why. Structurally and cosmetically, not a lot of change here for 2013 models. Same wheelbase configurations, there's three. Same three cab configurations, same three bed lengths, and same three engines. The 4 liter V6, 4.6 liter V8, and the 5.7 liter V8. What does change is that there are three trim packages that Tundra will have. The Tundra, the Limited, and the new Platinum, top of the line, most expensive model they make. The range in price from mid-20s to low 50s. This particular model has the Crew Max cab, which means a lot of extra leg room and a lot of extra cargo room in back. The only drawback is that you get the shortest pickup bed, so if you have to do a lot of cargo hauling or towing, this might not be the option for you. But if you have to carry a lot of kids or coworkers, this is a great choice. A couple things to keep in mind with the 2013 model. Old style barrel gauges for tack and speedometer and some of the other important gauges you have right in front of the steering wheel. Depending on what kind of glare you have, it might be difficult to see at different time periods of the day. Also, if you do any towing, it, there's no integrated trailer brake controller, so you're going to have to go with an aftermarket option. What we do like, there's a button that takes the rear window, drops it all the way down. If you decide you want to be closer to the outdoors, drop all the other windows, open up your skylight, and you're basically camping. So those are just some of the highlights from the 2013 model year. But don't let the fact that a new model is coming for 2014 scare you away from taking a serious look at this truck. There's plenty of value and plenty of capability right here.